Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to make a package for the Mac, a DMG file that can be run and distributed and used by anybody who hasn't got Unreal. So it's usually the final step of your game. The reason I'm making this video is because a video doesn't exist to this and I'm just going to clear up a few things. I'm not using the latest version of Unreal, I'm using 4.25 because that's what I'm, what's on my Mac. You will need a Mac, so if you've got a PC project you'll need to copy it over to a Mac and fix anything that goes along with that. If you've got any plugins or any assets or anything, you're gonna to have to copy them over. And what I will do is I will show you just how to get a smaller packaging size if possible. So as I said, I'm using an older Mac here, 2013. I'm on version 10.14. You will need Xcode. I have Xcode um, 11.3, I believe, which is an older version as well, but you're gonna need that to build your package. And once you've downloaded your engine version, you're just going to launch here and we're just going to go from the first person template. So I'm just going to create games here. Next, first person, next, with starter content and ray tracing disabled, maximum quality desktop console. And just create our project. Now, occasionally I get this error message, but I do have X coaching. So just click that and OK. If it's the first time you've run Unreal, it might take a while to compile shaders, so make yourself a cup of tea and come back in a moment. Now I'm going to start by just going into my world outliner and deleting a few things and building a basic landscape. If you don't want to do that, you can just shoot right ahead to the packaging part of this tutorial and just see how you can package any other level. But I'm just going to start by deleting some of that and leaving the floor behind and then shift and apple clicking on the cubes and getting rid of those. And I'm going to get rid of the network player start, the template label, and the reflection capture. I'm going to leave everything else there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the modes here, into landscape mode, and I should have my starter content in here. So when I browse here, I'm going to search for rock for my material, rock basalt, and apply that. And I'm just going to do some basic sculpting once I've created my landscape using these sculpt tools to build. I'm just going to hit the square brackets to make a bigger brush and build some more higher landscape around this. Maybe a bit of erosion. So once we're done, we're just going to go back into our select here, choose our floor, which should still be here, and give this a material as well. So I'm going to go in here and just change the material along here to an ocean. Just search for ocean there water ocean and what I'm going to do at this stage is maybe just rotate the sun a bit press E and go to my sky sphere here and just refresh material and I'm also going to change the cloud speed up here to get a bit of a dramatic effect going here and bring the cloud opacity up a little bit as well that's about all I'm going to do at this stage. Next, the final stage that you should do is build your light. So I'm going to go into lighting quality production here and build and wait for a few moments for this to start. So once the lighting is built, just press play to make sure everything's okay. I've got no sound on here, but I should hear the sound of bullets here. And once we're done with this, we can start looking at our package settings. Actually, there's one thing we need to do first, which is pretty important. We're going to go into our level blueprint here and just build an escape. This is quite important because if we don't put this in, we have to force quit the application. So on the level blueprint here, I'm just going to right click here and search for escape. And that should be under a keyboard event. So this means when I press the escape key, I'll drag a node from this and just type in quit game. And this should quit my game when I press escape. This is quite important. I would put this in. It doesn't have to be the escape key. It can be any key you want. Compile, save, close this, back to our package settings. And the first thing we want to check here is supported platforms. Make sure Mac is on here. And then we just go into packaging here. And according to the instructions, the document that's there from version 4.12 on the Epic site, we can click this one here, which is create compressed cooked packages and exclude editor content when cooking to make our package size a bit smaller. Now what we're going for here is a shipping build, which basically means this is your final build. It should be a smaller file size and it's going to, not going to include some debugging features or console features that you might get. So this should be your final thing. If you just want to test stuff, it's probably better to do development before. We're going to go for shipping here and I'm just going to go package product, Mac, 
and maybe show my output con choose the game folder first i'm just going to put a new folder on the desktop here and just let that package and if you hear that little noise that's good news that means it's ready to go so i'm just going to minimize this go into our game folder go into this macno editor folder and look at our very large 560 megabyte project and just see if it works it's looking all good to me press the escape key that should get you out of there that's how you know you've done it right so back into unreal again and just show you how you can optimize the size of your project if we go back into these packaging settings again you can actually choose which folders you don't want to include in your packaged build and that may well help you with reducing your file size but what I've done which I don't know if it's particularly good practice but the materials and assets I've used I would put them in another folder and I would say here I would put into additional asset directories to cook I would add that folder there and that should decrease the file size so I'm just going to try that now so I got the ocean material and the basalt material here And I'm just going to migrate these into another folder. Now hopefully if I include that directory, we should reduce our size here. So I'm just gonna go in there and choose packaged content as this folder and do another package product and package project, sorry, and see if we get a smaller file size. I'll just delete that one out and go ahead. And that is 273 megabytes, so it's just half the size of the original one, which is way better. And it's got exactly the same materials and there is one final step and that is turning it into a DMG which will also save some size for distribution. So if I go into the folder where I've made it here, I see it's 273.8 megabytes. I'm gonna search in here for disk utility and launch that. And what I'm looking to do here is make a new image, image from folder, and just go onto the desktop and choose that folder and I'll just call this my game or something like that. And once that's done, we should go in here and there's our DMG, 155 megabytes. I'll just double click that and skip the verification. And there we have our file in there ready to run. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, uh, subscribe and I'll do more tutorials. If you've got any comments, any better ways to do this or any suggestions, please hit me up in the comments. I'll try and answer everything. Thank you so much.